today we are going to be going Goodwill shopping for something really special and exciting. I am finally going to be doing a makeover on my little sister's bedroom. This is something that I've been wanting to do for so long and you will find out a little bit more about the bedroom that we're going to be making over together later in today's episode. You're going to get to see a sneak peek of the before. So today is not the actual makeover. Today we are going to go out and we are going to start finding things for this space. If you followed me for a long time, you know that I take my time when it comes to decorating a space with secondhand treasures. You can't just go out and find it all in one weekend like you can if you are buying a brand new. I am on a mission to decorate her bedroom with entirely secondhand finds. So this is gonna be a fun adventure the next month going out and sourcing items for this makeover. You're gonna get to see me find these items and then you're gonna get to see me put them all together and we're gonna transform that space. So today we are going to head out to Goodwill and we're going to see what kind of items we can find for that space. But before we go Goodwill shopping, I have two very, very exciting announcements to make. Do you remember a few months ago, I teased in an episode when I was up in Tacoma, Washington, that I was there for a secret project that I was working on that you would find out more about later this fall. I came up here for a very special meeting for a secret project that I'm working on. I can keep secrets. I can keep secrets. Well, today I can finally tell you about the secret project that I have been working on. For the past year, I have been working with the company Niche to create an app that is going to completely transform the way that we shop vintage in our local stores. As someone who's been buying and selling vintage for a decade, there is something that is really missing in our local communities. And I believe Niche is going to completely fill that gap of what's missing. The reason that I'm so excited about Niche is that it is gonna get shoppers into vintage stores to to buy locally but as a shopper it's going to give you the convenience of finding these items online you can purchase them in app and go pick up at the local stores there are so many reasons I'm really passionate about this project but the main reason is because I really believe it's gonna help boost sales of local vintage stores and you know how much that means to me it is the reason that I do what I do the reason that I go out to all of the local flea markets and vintage stores and happily share them with all of you and I want to help spread the word and I really think Niche is gonna completely transform the way that we shop and sell on a local level. The new app is gonna be launching at the beginning of 2023, and I'm so excited for you guys to see all of the different features that it has. So if you have an antique store and you wanna be featured on the Niche app so that shoppers in your area can find you super easily, or if you just wanna be a shopper and find those amazing vintage pieces that you've been looking for forever at the convenience of your fingertips, then head to our website and sign up on our wait list so you can help bring Niche to a city near you. And if you just wanna learn more about why I'm so excited about this app, then watch the video in the link above and in the description below. I'm also so excited to announce that we have decided on the location for the next trip abroad, we are going to be hosting an eight day flea market and antique shopping trip in London. The trip to London is going to take place in the fall of 2023. There's gonna be 24 spots available and those spots will go for sale on Black Friday. If you wanna check out the full eight day itinerary, you can head to leftcoastrevivals.com and I'm gonna give you a breakdown of the trip and what to expect there. And the trip will go live for booking at 12 p.m. Pacific time on Black Friday. So get your early morning Black Friday shopping done and be home by 12 o'clock Pacific time if you wanna book a spot for the London trip. We are only gonna be hosting the one trip to London next year and there's only 24 spots. The first Italy trip sold out in 24 hours. So if London is on your list and you wanna hit all of the flea markets and have a great trip with us, make sure you set a reminder on your calendar. We will have a direct link to book the trip on our website homepage, leftcoastrevivals.com. So make sure that you put that in your calendar because this Black Friday, that trip is going live for sale. And that takes care of our big announcements for today's episode. Now let's get Goodwill shopping. I 
I saw this beautiful Southwestern hand-painted vase sitting on the shelf, and when I picked it up, I saw it was only $1.99. Now, everybody has been talking about how expensive Goodwill is lately, but I absolutely find things for really reasonable prices at our local Goodwills. I don't know if this is going to end up in my sister's room makeover or not. It's a really beautiful piece, but I don't think that I'm going to be going with a Southwestern theme in her room. I am trying to have a very eclectic design for her because I want her to be able to easily switch out one piece at a time if she changes her mind or she decides she doesn't love this without feeling like she has to do a complete room overhaul. So this one may end up coming for sale in my upcoming shop sale and I just love it. It's a beautiful vase for only $1.99. This is a beautiful copper trivet, and I think that this is supposed to be a partridge in a pear tree. It has that beautiful Scandinavian look to me with the bird and the trees. I know a lot of times you will see the tree of life and it'll have all of the different little critters in it. This vintage trivet was only $3.99. Now this is obviously not gonna make an appearance in my sister's bedroom makeover, so this one will be coming to my next shop sale. I was coming around the corner pushing my cart and I was looking at the lamps and I didn't really see anything that looked very interesting and then all of a sudden I realized that there was a plaster lamp in the very back row and I pulled it out and it turned out to have this amazing koi fish on it this thing is so darn heavy and it's amazing now blue happened to be the color off today so I was able to get this for only $6.50 it was $12.99 so I only ended up paying six dollars and fifty cents for this I just happened to have thrifted a little lampshade the other day so I'm gonna try it out and see what I think it might be too small but it also might be absolutely perfect even with the lampshade, this was under $10. And this is why I love thrifting. You never know what you're gonna find. And no matter how much you plan or try to find something, there's always gonna be random things you never even knew about. I don't think that this is gonna go in my sister's makeover. I think that this is just gonna be a little bit too quirky for the space, at least with what I think I'm planning to do. But I'm not positive because I also love the idea of just putting in random quirky things that nobody would expect into a space. I think that is part of what is so fun about decorating with vintage. On that note of quirky and weird, I wanna show you a few things that I picked up for my sister's makeover last week along with this guy. This is a vintage Hager piece and he is so amazing. Doesn't he look like Mufasa? I just love him so much. You know I have a thing for lions. And it's super fun to find these things at thrift stores that, you know, just really bring out your inner child. And there's just something about lions that makes me feel like a kid again. Lion King was always my favorite movie as a kid growing up. That and The Land Before Time. The original version, too. I think they've made new ones. It's not the same. It's not the same. This is going to be seriously fun to decorate with. I have another exciting announcement, but I'm going to keep that secret for like one more week because this is just like a really announcement heavy episode at this point. But I will tell you part of why I'm super excited about this guy in an episode, maybe next week. I believe plants are one of the most important things to any space, but I'm also aware that not everybody has the time, the knowledge, or the energy to take care of living plants. I'm gonna be using a combination of faux plants and real plants in my sister's room. She has a couple really big windows, and I think I'm gonna hang a spider plant in one of those. So I wanted to get her a watering can, and I picked this up at Goodwill for only $4.99. And then I actually have about six fake plants that I've been picking up at Goodwill so far. I've been trying to get things that look pretty real. I mean, honestly, to me, 
no fake plant really looks real, but she has this empty space above her bathroom that I need to fill with something. And it's so far away that I don't think you're really going to be able to see whether a plant is real or fake. So I've been picking up some faux plants at Goodwill, and I really think that they're going to add some life to the space, even though they're fake. My sister's husband, Ellery, is a big chess player and gamer. And I saw these beautiful Onyx bookends and I actually thought of the chess pieces. So I thought that this would be a great way to add in a design element that is kind of a little bit more Ellery style. He has said he doesn't care at all what she does with this space. And she is giving me that same freedom and permission too. But I think one of the things about designing someone else's space is you want to make it look good. And maybe you have your own ideas for what that is, but it it needs to feel like them. Otherwise, it will never feel like their home when they walk into that space. So I'm going to try to add in some very subtle touches that I think Ellery will appreciate. And I thought that these were absolutely beautiful. I got the pair of them for $7.99 at Goodwill. And I'm excited. I need to go through their bookshelves and select some books that I think would look beautiful with these. They both read a lot. So I know I'm going to have some good books to select from. probably going to be the trendiest, most current looking item that I put in the room. I know my sister does love current trends at Target. She's told me this before. And I thought that having in a few of these pieces in the space is really going to make it feel like it is a new room. We're not going to make this look like a vintage museum. I believe that this is another Target piece. It looks like the original price is $24. And we paid $12.99 for it, but blue was the half off color. So we ended up getting it for only $6.50. And this is an example of how I'm gonna be mixing in more handmade or vintage pieces with the contemporary ones. I actually think that this is gonna go up with some of the faux plants above the bathroom door. I think having a large vase that has some colors that tie in other colors throughout the room is gonna look really beautiful. This is almost the exact same color as her new sheets that she got. So I'm definitely gonna have this be an accent color in the room, which is kind of funny because if you know me very well, you know that yellow is not one of my favorite colors. I love the sun. Um, and lemons and that's about it. I don't like the color yellow, <laughs> but that's what makes this project so fun is that I'm going to be getting a little bit outside of my normal design element and just having fun with it. And I know my sister's going to love it. found a whole set of these pottery candle holders and it was kind of interesting because it says on the bottom schoolhouse electric display that's a local Portland company that I love and these were made by Bauer pottery and it's stamped 2000 and the color on these is so pretty it's this beautiful soft minty green and I think it's gonna go really well with the mustard yellow colors and I also happen to have thrifted some pillows that are almost identical in color to this I said is finally making my dreams come true and she is letting me do a makeover on her bedroom. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this for years, so many years. And this is the space right now. It's got these lovely lavender walls and I am so excited to transform this space. We are going to be doing a makeover on my sister Erin's room. Finally. <laughs> oh, finally. This has been so many years in the making. We've been talking about doing this for about, what, 10 years? At least. And we actually actually started doing a makeover at her previous house four years ago. And as soon as I painted the wall, guess what she did? I was like, we should move. <laughs> it's easier than doing a room makeover. Let's just move. <laughs> Here we are years later. Erin, tell them the story of why you decided I am finally going to help you with your makeover. When we bought this house a little over four years ago, I was like, look past the paint past these things because you can change that right and like, i encourage want, this yeah, i encourage yeah, you this. want you want the layout you love you want like the location like it's all about location look past the fact that the master bedroom has 
lavender walls. Purple walls. And I'm like, look past that. It's fine. We're going to paint it right away. I still have purple walls. So a couple weeks ago, she invested in kind of a splurge, actually, in these yeah. beautiful West Elm sheets. Yes, and I'm obsessed <laughs> with them. They are the most comfortable sheets. It took me forever to figure out what sheets to buy. So I finally got them. I put them on the bed, and I called my sister and was <laughs> like, I still have purple walls. This is not okay. <laughs> it, it made her realize how bad the purple really is when she put the sheets on there. So we are going to be doing a complete makeover. Erin is headed to the Philippines in late December to Yay. visit family. She's going to be gone for three weeks. Yay. I'm going to miss her and Milani and Ellery. <laughs> and um, while they are gone, that is my opportunity to get in here and decorate this room. I am super excited to see what Laura can do for me with this room because I change my mind all the time. I'm like, I want this. No, I want this. So I never actually purchase anything. I can never make that decision. It's like you want a certain feel when you come in, like you want it to feel comfortable and, but also practical, right? What's your main goal? What do you want to feel when you walk into this space? I want to walk in and not think, oh my God, I still have purple walls. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. I can take care of that. <laughs> so she only has one thing in this room that we're going to be keeping, and that is her new sheets that yes. she loves. The rest of it, she's just going to have to wait for until she gets back from her vacation. But there was one thing that she couldn't wait for, so we had to get this now. The mattress. It's so important to have a comfortable mattress. <laughs> yeah, she's not been sleeping well on her current mattress, so we were talking about doing this room makeover, and I was like, I got you. So I told her about Helix Sleep. So she went online and took the Helix Sleep quiz and found the perfect mattress and we are about to unveil it right now. We're gonna switch out this one, which is not a good mattress. She thought it was when she bought it, but she hasn't been sleeping good. And we are gonna put the new Helix mattress out and test it out for you. So one of the things about the quiz that I thought was really cool was that there were questions for two people, right? Mm. So my husband's a side sleeper, I'm a back sleeper. And so finding a mattress that'll work well for both of us is really important. And you got your little bug that comes and sleeps with you sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes there's a third person. <laughs> it's cold. Kind of squishy. It's cozy. When it's just plain, you can feel like a penguin. Yes. That's how I feel about it, too. Okay, good night. <laughs> Helix Sleep offers premium mattresses customized to fit your needs conveniently shipped to your door. The sleep quiz matches you to the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. Helix delivers your mattress right to your front door with free shipping in the U.S. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and it is easy to set up. And they offer a 100 night sleep trial to test the mattress out to ensure that you love it. Helix mattresses also include a 10 year warranty and they offer financing options and flexible payment plans. Visit helixsleep.com slash Laura Caldwell to get up to $200 off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. This is going to change my life. I am such a hot sleeper. Always like, oh, I'm too hot. I'm too hot. I remember one time years ago we were at a hotel together. I think we like bunked up in a room in San Diego because we went with mom and dad and we had to share a bed and you were like a heating pad. You were yeah. so hot. And my daughter crawls into bed with us sometimes and she is also a hot sleeper and the two of us together are a force to be right with. <laughs> so I'm really excited about the cooling future. Oh my God, I can already tell it's going to change everything. It's just cool to the touch. Like, yeah, you touch it and you're just like, oh yeah. You're like really aggressively opening those pillows right now. Helix Dream Pillow Set. I think it's just going to be one amazing pillow. Man. <laughs> They should hire you for their PR team for reals. <laughs> so I have a feeling she's gonna have a little bit of a say in the makeover because I already have a couple questions for her. Oh no. Yeah, she's <laughs> gonna get to pick a few things. Ooh, can she do some artwork? Oh my gosh, you just ruined it. She was oh my gonna do artwork. <laughs> <gasps> How did you just say that? That's literally one because of the things I was gonna perfect. ask her for. She and loves she's making an art. Artist. But you're gonna have to pay her for it because she always demands She's not cheap. Sometimes she charges like $60 for a drawing. She'll I mean, take it is a dollar, custom. Though. She'll take a dollar. <laughs> you have though. to negotiate with her. We'll all negotiate with her because we are going to be yes. doing this bedroom on a budget. We are going to be thrifting the majority of the items yes. and there will be no purple walls. I was just thinking that this lamp was really cute. And then I just remembered that I think I thrifted that for you, didn't I? Um, yeah, you did. Like all the eight things, years ago. All the cute things in here. We're going to get you a little Kleenex box cover. 
Wait, I gave you that too, didn't I? That's what I'm trying to say. Anything that's cute. Yep, I could see the Goodwill sticker hey, is, was is on the, the bottom. Dresser cute? Is the dresser cute? Oh yeah, I gave her the dresser too. Poor Erin, she gets all my hand-me-downs. <laughs> what are the birds that. though? I didn't give you those. No, I sister, I sister, I, know. I love you. Those, honestly, like, but the birds are going. Like 15 years I know, that's what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of cute, this is a, a Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. Look at me. John made that with a laser. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Aren't you proud of me? I knew your nerdy game yeah, stuff. Yeah, you knew it was Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. So we'll we'll see what we're <laughs> working with here, you guys. Um, this is going to be a fun before and after. So the complete makeover episode is going to be coming out in January, and I cannot wait to film your reaction. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun while you're gone. I'm a little terrified. You should mostly be. Mostly excited. You should be. Mostly <laughs> You should be for both because it's going to be better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Anything pretty much would be better than this. So uh, I, think we'll, I think we'll be fine. Okay, good night. <laughs> you cute sister. Thank you so much Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. So my sister might act like she has no style, but I know that she does. She just has a really hard time making decisions. And I know a lot of you out there have that same issue when you're trying to decorate a space. I think most people tend to know what they like. They know that they're drawn to this piece or they know they're drawn to this color palette, but it's really hard to figure out how you're gonna take all of those things you like and make them work together. And one of the ways that I recommend decorating a space with secondhand finds is to have an eclectic style. Don't just pick one decade or one style or one color. The more styles you mix in and the more colors and patterns that you mix in, the easier it is to change things out. You're always hearing me talk about upgrading when you're thrifting things. So if you found a vase that you really like, like this, and it is Target brand, and you pay $9.99 for it, but it's really only worth $14.99. Well, maybe you find an antique South American piece that looks very similar to this that this might have actually been copied from that has beautiful hand-painted design and you absolutely love it you swap those out and that's what I call upgrading I want to start my sister's room with a lot of pieces that she can upgrade over time that way we're not investing too much money into the space right now and she isn't gonna be so emotionally attached to these pieces that she doesn't feel like she can't let them go if she finds something that she likes better so I think a secondhand find from Target that has current design and makes her feel like she still has a new space is the perfect introduction to somebody who doesn't typically decorate with secondhand finds. I know my sister really well and she's trusting me a lot with this makeover and I know that she doesn't want to walk in and feel like she's in a time capsule. I know she wants to walk in and feel like she had her space decorated with new or current finds. So we're going to be mixing in a lot of newer pieces with vintage pieces in this space and I'm so excited to give you a little sneak peek at what I've got so far and how I think it's all gonna come together. Here is the little corner of my garage that I am currently stashing all of the items for my sister's bedroom makeover. You can kind of see that I have a little bit of the color palette and idea nailed down. It really all started with just the first two pieces and knowing that she already had the mustard sheets and she loved those, I knew that that was gonna be one of the main accent colors. I recently just picked up this lamp down here. It's from the 90s and it is signed on the bottom and I got it at Goodwill and I thought the colors looked really good with this vintage afghan, but I'm not positive if I'm gonna end up using it in the space or not. I just think it might really warm up the space because we've got a lot of cooler tones going on right now. I think I'm pretty good on faux plants. I was able to find this tree and then this little monstera faux plant at Goodwill. And between that and the ferns that we have up on our extra snow tires, I think we're gonna be covered with our faux plants. And then I'm gonna add in some real plants closer to the windows. I got this adorable little woven stand at an antique mall for only $15.
I think I will be using that for sure. And then this was actually thrifted from Goodwill and I think it's gonna be a really good fit for her space because with the shutters, it has a very traditional feel and I'm trying to make sure that my sister's space isn't too mid-century and isn't too modern. I want it to feel really warm and cozy because I think that's the style that she's a little bit more drawn to. And how funny that I was able to thrift pillows that were brand new, they were donated in perfect condition for $6.99 and they match the pot, the design on it. I thought those could be the two accents that make it feel very current and on trend. And then I can tie in some more vintage pieces with it to kind of make it all come together. I'm really trying to have a lot of different textures. Over here with this mustard vase, we have kind of that bubbly high gloss. And then over here, we have a little bit more of a sandstone look mixed with more gloss. And once you add in the texture from plants and the woven fabrics, I think it really balances out well. So that is where we are at. This is what I have so far. I'm pretty happy with it, even though it's only been a few days thrifting. I've got a lot more hunting to do. And next up, I'm gonna try to find her the perfect bed to go with her fabulous new Helix Sleep mattress. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who is watching. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It means the world to me. This has been such an amazing and exciting year. I feel like I've had a lot of personal growth and I'm just really, really incredibly grateful and I just wanted all of you to know that. I've got some other wonderful and exciting things in the works right now that I will be sharing with you soon. And in the meantime, I really hope that you go and check out the Niche app. I think it's gonna be amazing. Amazing. I am so passionate about it and I believe in this app so much and I just am so confident that all of you will as well. I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about the app as the year wraps up and I cannot wait for this app to go live and we're going to go shopping with it together and I will show you exactly how it's going to work. And if you are wanting to shop in person with me, the London trip is going to be your chance. It's going to be an amazing eight days. I custom planned the entire trip to make sure that we could get as much vintage shopping as possible possible in. I even coordinated and set aside time for us to go to a local post office to make sure that we could all ship home treasures. That way we can fit even more in our luggage. Don't forget to mark your calendars because that trip is going to be going live for sale on Black Friday at 12 o'clock p.m. Pacific time on my website leftcoastrevivals.com. I am so excited to get working on my sister's bedroom makeover and I've got some more fun adventures that are going to be coming out here really soon on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Thank Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today and I'm so excited you got to meet my sister and get to know her a little bit better. She's amazing and I can't wait to make over this room. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see all of you in the next adventure.